with your page, Megatronics. Today we're going to do a water quality control system and actually it's going to do a check on the pH level of the water, the level of the water whether it's high or low, the turbidity in terms of the cleanliness of the water and also um, the pH level. We're going to test the acidity and then the alkalinity of the water. Okay, so what do we have here is the whole circle circuit of our system. We have an LCD display. Uh, we also have to control the, the, the brightness of the LCD. It's for RGB, for the four separate um, sensors, the pH, the turbidity, the water level, and also the, <coughs> the temperature inside the water. Okay, so here is the ultrasonic sensor. This is a prototype of our thumb that we have the ultrasonic sensor that is supposed to take the water level and here we have the pH probe for the acidity and the alkalinity of the water at the same time we have the temperature this probe is supposed to give us the temperature inside the water for the coldness and then the heat the temperature and also we have the turbidity sensor for the cleanliness and the tea of water Okay, so right now we are going to do this so the video in three uh, four seconds. So right now we are going to do for the water level. And as of now, there is no water in in this tank of ours. Okay, so as I upload the code into the scene, uh, we are going to do the level check. So as I upload. <coughs> Into the skirt. Okay, so what you're going to take is from the LCD display. We can we then notice that since there is no water in our tank, there is a buzzer and our light giving us that the water is what very low. So it says the level is five centimeters and the water level is low. That means there is no water in the tank. So it will give you an alert system on that. Now, in this section, we are now going to pour water into our tank to say mid level. To mid level, and we see the reading that we're going to get. Okay, right now, we're still reading from the sensor. And see now, it's 6 centimeters, and water is about low. Is a, water level is normal. So, in this level, it's cool. So we know that there is water into in the tank and the level is okay. Now, in as much as we pour much more water into the tank, let's see how it also reads. That is getting to the brim of the water. So we've given it much to the brim of it, and it's actually approaching to the sensor so, so which means it's very high and uh, let's see what the readings is giving us okay now we say what the water level is three centimeters to the ultrasonic center and it's what very high so that indicates that the, um, the water level has risen from mid to the highest level and therefore it will alert the user and also give him the beeps so we are done with the water level section so we then go for the pH, the pH levels. Okay, so let me um, comment for the water and then we will do for the pH as soon as possible. Okay, so the pH is ready. And, uh, okay, so we upload to the sketch as well. So now, we are going to take readings from the pH sensor, which is this probe of ours, and add the, the, into the water. Okay, as at now we're making this video, um, we only have this water, which is a clean water, and the acidity level is very low. Right now, the pH level is 7.12, which is normal. Um, as it stands now, we do not have any solution that contains any acid 
no in a in a solution that contains alkality. So we keep in the pH level to be that and we know that our water is safe and we can now drink. So we're done with the pH level. Now we're going to the temperature in the water. Okay. Now for the water temperature. Okay, water temperature. There we go. So we do for the water temperature and the very good part of this sensor is that this is the temperature probe that is connected to this uh, sensor. It's this is the pH sensor at the same time the temperature sensor, and this also also have a sorry uh, also have a temperature sensor in it that also takes the surrounding temperature and also the water temperature. So right now the codes that we've written is to take care of the surrounding temperature and also the temperature inside the water. So I then upload the code into uh, system and that is the code. Okay, so now we are going to deal with the temperature sensor. Okay, so we are taking readings from the temperature sensor and as of now, the surrounding temperature is 46.19 degrees Celsius, which is normal and also the temperature inside the water inside the reservoir too is what 27.25 degrees celsius which is also normal now if i touch the temperature sensor which is here which is i'm trying to give it a little bit of temperature height let's see the reading that is going to take it is 49.12 degrees Celsius, which is normally okay. Because I made the limit to be 50 degrees. From 50 degrees, it's going to tell you that the temperature is high. And the water level too is still 27.19 degrees Celsius, which is normally okay. So we wait for the surrounding temperature and we see how the temperature reading is going to go. Which will be very soon. Okay, so now you see down the surrounding temperature is 51. Still, since I am holding, they have given a little bit temperature to the sensor. It's reached to 51.07 degrees Celsius, which is what high. Now I'm done with the surrounding temperature. Now I want to do the temperature inside the water. Here we have is a hot water. And here is cold water. For normal sake, we are going to test for uh, the cold water first before we test for the hot water. So we put the probe into the water and. Okay, now the surrounding temperature still, it still says that the temperature is 51, like 0, 0, 07 degrees Celsius. Now we are going to test for the temperature inside the water, for which I've dipped into the cold water the temperature is 15.0 degrees celsius actually the threshold that i'm giving to it is 13 degrees celsius so below 13 degrees celsius is supposed to give us that an alert that the temperature is low so we're still taking from the surrounding temperature so the surrounding temperature is now normal because it's back to its normal reading which is 48.14 degrees celsius now we go to the temperature inside of the water and inside of the water let's see yeah so below 13.44 degrees or so which was water temperature is low that's because we dipped the probe into the cold water that's why it's giving us a low temperature now we take the probe out now we're going to use it for the hot water now so I dip the probe into the hot water and let's see the temperature inside of the hot water. So for the surrounding temperature, it's still normal. Okay, now we can see now the temperature has now risen from 13 now to 43.31 degrees Celsius, for which the water temperature is high. As I told you, I used hot water. Okay, so now we're done with the temperature. Now we can now measure the temperature of cold water and hot water and also the surrounding temperature. So now what we're going to do is we are
are going to do now test for the terability in terms of how clean the water is and in here I then have to upload the turbidity code which will be done very soon okay so the turbidity okay so I upload uh, now upload the turbidity now the turbidity is this sensor this is the sensor you're going to use to check whether the water is clean or not as you can see here this is a dirty water and this is a clean water so as normal the turbidity level is what 6.0 degree celsius which is normal and it's what clean so water normal and clean now if i dip this into it the turbidity reading let's see what we get now it drops from 6 to what 5.0 which was very dirty that tells us that this water that we have here is dirty the cloud mess on it so the water is dirty and therefore we we have to be notified of what the water being dirty now i'll take it out and i push it into the clean water and it says the turbidity level is 7.09 and water is normally clean and we do not have any problems with it okay so now i have been able to show you all the different parts of this project now we then compile them as one and and since we do we do not we do need data to be collected so after all this we send the data to our sms so let me come take all of them as one and then we do send them and get the feedback from them too okay so i said now i'm done and i'm putting in the sms and initialization okay for the initialization we just want to make sure that everything is set and ready to go so I then upload the code and as you can see here since the code has now been now all parameters are now going to be initialized so we are going to do it step by step the whole process is going to do it in, from the pH it goes to the temperature and go to the level of water so then from there it goes to the turbidity and as it stands now we have the turbidity to be dirty the water to be dirty temperature to be cold and the pH normal cool so we are taking readings from the temperature sensor now from the temperature sensor surrounding temperature is 48.14 degrees celsius since i've put in the probe into the cold water we are going to get for the temperature to be low yeah because the probe is inside the cold water and we have a reading of 14.94 degrees celsius which is far lesser than the threshold and from the temperature we go to the level the water level which is still at high yeah so the water level is so high and also the turbidity for which i've put it into um dirty water and it's also dirty so you know we have to get an sms and very soon you'll be getting an sms it says attention sending sms and sms sent successfully so we are supposed to get an sms very shortly for which we do get okay so this is the sms that we got it says normal normal water temperature the water temperature is what 14.94 degrees celsius high water level which of the three cent, uh, centimeters to the sensor and the water ph value is 
and also dirty water turbidity of what 5.0 nbt so as you can see the water level was high the ph value was 7.2 which is okay and the, the turbidity was what 5.00 which was dirty so this same process is still taking over and over and over again but we could also change it so the turbidity is still dirty for which we will be getting the lessons also very shortly and we could also change from the cold water to the hot water and the turbidity from dirty to clean okay so our second SMS was okay which was normal water temperature 13.50 degrees high water level temperature which was 30 centimeters and the normal water pH value which was 7.19 and still our turbidity was the, the water was dirty so dirty water temperature so right now we've changed the settings from from cold to hot and also the turbidity has been changed from dirty to clean so the water temperature as you told is this hot so it's what temperature is high and also from the level is still high because it's not still reduced the water level and from the turbidity it's, it's now clean so they say normally clean so the turbidity is now clean and as you can see so it's supposed to now send the sms and since the sms is supposed to send now we have all green leds to come on for the sms to send and shortly we'll be having an sms very shortly for which we get so when we check this one too it says the high temp water temperature here yeah, because we put it into high and then the water level was still high the normal water pH value was 7.12 and then clean water turbidity so you know this is just a hope we get on the water quality test and as you can see we have all parameters set and everything is now good so this project can really help you to monitor the quality of your water and also be sure that you are not drinking any contaminated water in your house so hope you like the video and See you and ciao. Bye.